How's it going everybody? Welcome to Prime Energon and today we're going to be taking a look at Blitzwing. Now I have had this character for some time already. I'm just trying to work through all the ones that I already have just to get them out of the way. This is Blitzwing. This is Transformers Legacy Leader Class. So we're going to put all this crap aside and take a look at the box right here. So here is the box. Blitzwing Legacy Leader Class. Some artwork, really nice artwork. I do like these uh, big old leader class boxes. Some stuff on the side and stuff on the back. It is a triple changer. Definitely fun to transform. I had to try to remember how to do both of them, but I think I got it down. Hopefully I do. And uh, this is the top right here. Legacy Transformers, stuff at the bottom. And let's take a look at Blitzwing. So this is a really cool looking character. I definitely like the way this character looks. It does come with some weird things like these thingies, big old finger hands, hot dog finger hands, whatever. It does come with those. You do get a lot of accessories as far as his sword and you get two blasters on here as well. So it does look good. Let's take a look at the detail. I really love this head sculpt. I love the color yellow they used, his visor looks really nice i love all the detail on his chest the arms right here really really nicely done as far as the scope work goes and the fact that they're able to hide these hollow spots with these little flaps i wish they would lock in as occasionally they do tend to uh, move around a little bit and swivel around but the fact that they're able to cover those hollow spots that's pretty good um, as far as taking a look at the uh, stuff down here at the bottom Really nice skirt. All of this can move out of the way for articulation. Taking a look at the legs. Decepticon logo right here. You're supposed to have these flipped up front. I usually have them either flip back or flip forward. Of course, you could have it wherever you want. But really, really nice detail. I really do like how this guy looks. He just looks really, really nice as far as the scope work goes. No hollow spots. They're able to fill in all of this stuff quite nicely. Taking a look at the back here. Very nice. This is the uh, tank turret mode. I think everything folds up quite nicely. It's not too bad as far as the backpack goes. They could have done a little bit better, but I think uh, overall it looks pretty good. But up front right here, this is where it's at. This thing looks nice. It looks beefy. I think it looks pretty good for uh, what it is. I'm pretty sure you could pick this guy up for pretty cheap now, considering that he is uh, I'm pretty much an older figure, but... Man, I really do love this head scope. I do have a little chip right there. Maybe that's just the paint bubble on his head, but I think he looks really nice. As far as side-by-side -side comparisons, here is Blitzwing. He could stay up, he's gonna stay up. Bumblebee, Thundercracker. And here he is next to the Fallen from Revenge of the Fallen, as you can see, Fallen. Big guy, big guy, but I think uh, Blitzwing, uh, as far as scales wise, uh, I think he works out with a lot of other different characters. And here he is next to Coronation Starscream. Very nicely scaled together, quite nicely. I think uh, pretty much almost the same size. So, so as far as articulation, let's go ahead and take off his blasters. Well, we'll go ahead and take a look at him. all of his accessories that he comes with first before we get down to articulation. So let's put that aside, go over there, buddy. So you do get two of these purple blasters. They are cast out of purple, purple plastic. Both of them are identical. So they both look nice. You do have the option to put it in his hand or peg them onto the sides with these two pegs on the side. So you get a lot of options when storing these away. If you want to store them away, you do have ports on the back that you can put these on to uh, store these away. Uh, of course, you could also put the sword there too if you do not want them uh, hanging off the character, but you could put them on so many places. You could put them on his shoulders Like so to give him more of an armored look you got so many options to put these of course You can't just go old-school and put them in his hands and Boom boom just like that, but it's always fun to put them elsewhere And here is the sword is made out of soft plastic nicely done with that silver and The purple a little crooked, but it is soft plastic. So it will tend to bend and as far as storage wise goes, 
you do have this uh, peg that you could put anywhere. You could also put this on his hand if you want to have him wielding his sword like so, which actually looks pretty good in my opinion. That these thingies, the uh, big old hot dog fingers. Yeah, I don't know. These are cool to have, but I think they could have uh, done something else maybe rather than waste the plastic on these thingies. I'll show you how to use these, but uh, you can use these in airplane mode, but still, I think they could have done something, diverted this money into something else, maybe uh, a better tank mode or better airplane mode rather than waste money on these just clear plastics. I think they look really weird. They just look like big old fingers. I think it just looks funny. So as far as articulation goes on this guy, his head can look all the way up just like that. He can do a full 360 on his head. Arms can go all the way out as far as that goes and they can go all the way up. You do get a nice rotation. You gotta flip these flaps out of the way to get a little bit more of a range of motion on there. They can't go all the way around due to this shoulder piece. So that is weird. You are limited with these arms, but uh, you do get a bicep rotation. You get a bicep bend at about 90 degrees. You get a waist rotation, which is quite nice. The legs can kick back about that far before they stop right here. And they can kick forward that much. You do get a little bit of a thigh rotation right here as well. And you get a little bit more of a 90 degree bend at the knee. As far as the toes go, you do get ankle tiltage, no rockage down here for the toes. And you also have uh, wrist rotation, which is quite nice, quite nice for that as far as articulation goes. So as far as transformation goes, now this is gonna be a long one because he does transform into two different things. He transforms to his jet and his tank break all this apart and we're gonna go ahead and attempt tank mode at this time so let's go ahead and flip this up and his chest will break apart just like so which will allow you to break apart all of these pieces right here flip this forward and then go sort of collapse his toes and these will create thrusters at the bottom of his feet flip that close these and now he's got thrusters so if you want to pose them in a certain way with his thrusters you can do that if you want open up these panels right here and all of these will flip out this is all due to jet mode which we'll get to in a little bit and pretty much collapse his legs and just like that you do get this double jointed right here for his legs and then close everything back up and everything actually closes up quite nicely and compresses. You don't want to snap these together. Just like that, make sure these are pointed downward. Now, as far as his arms go, you want to make sure they are straightened out like that. You're gonna to want to flip this open, knock in his wrists, just like so, and then bring this back and rotate this around, just like that. Flip this down to fill this gap, just like so. Come on over to the other side, flip his wrist in, and then make sure you rotate this around and fill that little gap in, and arms are pretty much gonna stay right there where they're at. You're gonna want to make sure all of this compresses down on each other. As far as his head goes, you're gonna to want to pop this open and flip his head downward just like that to where the nose cone is popping out. A weird design flaw over here on the nose cone considering that it's just hanging there in the front, which is a little weird. Now you're gonna come over here and sort of collapse all of this together down at the tank mode just like so. All of this will snap in together. You get various tabs and slots these will tab into. You're gonna to want to disengage these side pieces, which are on little double jointed hinges, and then flip these out like so, and they will come down. You get a nice little hook down here with the little slot that 
This will tab into the arms or the back of the wrists, just like so. Come on over to this side, tab that in. Make sure everything is nice and straight and tidy. For the arms, you're gonna want to disengage the treads and flip them around. And these will tab in, flip down that little wing tip. Come on over here to the other side. Disengage this, flip it around, and then flip that down. And you're gonna want to bring the turret, snap it up, and just sort it, collapse it forward. And there you go for tank mode for Blitzwing. And I think this looks a little bit better than the actual jet mode. I wish there was a way that they could have done this nose cone right here just to make it look a little bit different when it comes down to just having it pop out in the front just like that. It looks a little weird, but he can roll around quite nicely. He does have wheels. The turret can go all the way around and up and down, so that's quite nice. As far as these ridiculous pieces, as far as these go, you can disengage these right here and then pop them on the inside just like that. And they will go on the side of tank mode and give them some extra firepower with some extra missiles on here as well. Like I said, just sort of just there. They're annoying to store away and really not that great of an effect right here when you have both of these on, but they are there if you want them. For me, I just keep them off and store it away just like that. But taking a look at the detail right here on tank mode actually looks really good. You got the treads right there, little wheels so it can roll around. I would have liked this part to have been filled in a little bit more rather than it being purple, but still overall, you get the thrusters on the back right here. Look quite nice. Up top view, you get nice Decepticon logo right there. I think the details look good. As far as weapon storage goes, you could store these any which way. You could tap them onto the back like so if you wanted to. You could put them up front, tap them up here if you wanted to. You could tap them in the front if you wanted to, give them some sort of extra firepower. You could put them wherever the hell you want as far as the sword goes. You could put it up top or you could store it on the side just like that. That way it's out of the way. Gosh, this is so annoying. All right, so we're gonna want to come back over here, flip these out just like so. And then undo everything that we just did as this goes, flip that is up, it is on a hinge, and collapse that down just like that. And then these arms will break apart right here, just like that, and will come down. Now you're gonna want to, before you do that, you're gonna want to separate the legs and sort of take all this stuff out. Again, extend the wings just like so, get this out of the way, flip it up and extend the wing, come over here, get that out of the way, flip this up, and extend the wing, flip this up, and then lock it, everything back into place. And now we got the wing set up for jet mode. Now the arms are gonna sort of just swoop on down. You're gonna get a slot right here. I don't know if you guys could see that, that's gonna go into this tab right here. And then everything is going to lock into place, just like so. Come over here, do the same thing. Disengage this, which can be a little tight. And then swing everything back, just like so. And together, you're gonna to want to flip these little filler pieces out, like that, like that. And as far as the nose cone goes, you're gonna to want to open this up and sort of get your nail in there to flip out the nose cone. Close that back up, make sure everything snaps together. And we are almost in the home stretch when it comes down to jet mode, like so. And then you're gonna want to bring everything down and start snapping everything together, just like that. You get a whole bunch of different tabs on here. And this is where everything gets weird as far as this kibble at the bottom. It just sort of just hangs here. And it can be a little annoying. You're gonna to want to collapse everything right here. Flip the turret around. First of all, you're gonna to want to collapse everything right here. Bring that in, snap it in. 
bring this in, snap that in, just like so, and then snap everything in when it comes down to it. Now, again, like I said, this is less desirable than I would have liked it to be when it comes down to jet mode. And here we go. Yes, this is how it looks. It looks good from up top, but all of this at the bottom, I wish this could have been detachable when it came down to the turret. And I wish all of this could have been a little bit better as far as hiding it away and detachable. But other than this, top view looks really good. You get the nice Decepticon logos on the back, nice silver detailing. I love the yellow and the purple, just looks really good. Check out the cockpit, the nose cone, the wings, everything looks good. It's just down here is a huge mess. I think they could have done it just a little bit better. Now, as far as these bad boys go, you're gonna want to make sure that they are out. Take this one, flip this out and stick it like so. And you're gonna want to open up the thrusters on the back, which will reveal some ports right there, just like this. And then you're gonna want to take this side, tab it in, just like so. And there you go. You can rotate these around. And that is what you get for jet mode. That right there is just a waste when it comes down to these pieces. It's just not, it adds a little bit more of an effect, but it's not the best in the world. The uh, purple is a different shade of purple since they are using a paint rather than a plastic. But you can do that if you want to do that it just does not look the best when it comes down to these pieces i don't like them i don't use them very annoying comes down to blitzwing in his jet mode actually looks pretty good from the top view i think they could have done a little bit better in my opinion when it comes down to the transformation on this guy but nonetheless it does look pretty good and hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you enjoyed this video of legacy leader class blitzwing Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, and I will see you next time. Peace.